The truth will set you free, but first it will piss you off. Before I get into today's video, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe, share, and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and thank you. Please subscribe and share my videos. Like, that's all I'm asking you for. And also go ahead and check out my previous video. Link will be right here and the link will also be in the description below. Please go ahead and follow me on my socials at Shamaya underscore Nelson and on my business page at my underscore and so also I need to wigs and lashes and clothing I'm currently having a huge discount sale at the moment so you can always go ahead and check out my essentials on Instagram you could be in the description and it is Maya underscore essentials on Instagram as you know I have a boss babe startup pack the boss babe startup pack is basically about you having a side hustle and you becoming a boss babe you get 10 mink lashes you get the mink cases and you also get brush and bags for only 6,000 Jamaican dollars and that is pretty cheap that, that is cheap right mm, cheap bag this is what the lashes look like a lot of them has asked me how do I get more following how do I Get more sales although i attract persons to my channel and a lot of hours and i've tried my best i've tried my best to answer every one of them because i know what it feels like not having the information when you really need it and you don't know who to ask because everyone is so selfish with information that you shouldn't be selfish with if that means okay. so i'm just going to give you a couple tips on starting your own business and yeah own online business i should say so the first thing on starting your online business is you have to find your niche and your niche is what my lips look so big bro but they're nice they're juicy and they're my lips the first thing that you have to do when thinking about being an entrepreneur especially on instagram or on the internet you have to think about what is my niche what is it that i am going to sell what is going to sell for me and what is in demand at the moment those are some of the stuff that you need to think about when figuring out what are you going to sell so find out what you're passionate about if you're passionate about baking and keep a big sale you can sell some kits and if you're passionate about um makeup and software it's like you can have your own little setup maybe your own where you do makeup you do house cars and stuff like that once you figure out your niche that is going to give you an idea as to what you're going to sell and to who you're going to sell the item to so tip number two is know that marketing is king like i've said this multiple times in my other videos my boss babe videos but let me say it again marketing is everything you need to promote your item and anything or any medium possible because that's all you're going to reach customers and potential buyers and that is all you're going to like build your brand and be successful so marketing is everything i don't know if you guys remember the time i spoke about me <laughs> about me saying i will never try instagram promotion because it was so expensive and all this and all that yes i said that one time in china instagram promotion for the past three months and the reason why i've tried it is because like i ordered a huge amount of lashes and i decided that i was going to take this for mink lash and wholesale lashes thing seriously hence why i started using instagram promotion to, to promote my stuff and once i tried it the first time i realized that i've gotten a huge amount of 
results i got a lot of sales i was sold out in a week um i got a lot of followers my following has increased tremendously and i'm really grateful for that and yeah i've got a lot of customers future customers because you know once person start following you hopefully in the future they'll see items that they are interested in and will buy it but yeah i got a lot of following and i also got a lot of sales it is very effective and that's on guy no, no, it's so very effective so i recommend you guys trying facebook promotion and instagram promotion if you can try youtube promotion go ahead and do so i um i want to do youtube promotion when it comes to like my videos but they haven't gotten the way around it as yet but i'm going to figure it out and do it yes it costs money but the money that you're going to pay instagram trust me you're going to get back that money in your sales or so just go ahead and do it like it is definitely worth it so i'm gonna go back to what i was saying marketing is king like definitely have to market your products 24 7 persons can see what you're selling like if you don't show persons what you're selling and that you're selling stuff how are they going to buy it how are you going to get sales? and I, I like doing videos like this because talking from experience and something that i'm passionate about because i'm really really passionate about my business because i put everything into it all my time caught myself hours in the night yes <laughs> marketing is king so get a get a lot marketing your stuff um so tip number three is reach the right audience and that is basically your target the customers like the persons who you want to target to buy your stuff i'm selling clothes mint lashes wigs and uh, what else like every little thing my target my customer base are target is persons who are half the age of as low as 15 years old to persons as old as I can't say as old as because if I'm not old and you want to look good then yeah because I have customers who are up in age old women and they usually just buy wigs from me they're, they're probably not buy the lashes but they'll definitely buy the ear so, and, and they are very much old they have customers as young as 15 years old but because like that's that's who i'm trying to target young people old people everybody in between man or woman i love man customers a lot of man customers and guess what i don't even sell man stuff I don't even sell man stuff and I have more than five man customers because they buy stuff for their girlfriend um, if it's a case where I have sex toys selling they buy the sex toys to spice up their relationship and I have customers everywhere boo like and that's a good feeling you know what I'm saying the old the young um, the man I support you know the way they feel so yeah, once you figure out a niche and once you know who you have a target, like those are the person you're supposed to market your products to. My next tip is being like be patient, like it's very simple. And the reason why I say to be patient is I have told a lot of persons who buy um mink lashes or stuff from me to start their own business this. And the reason why I tell them this is because it's not going to be easy at first and you have to work your way up you have to build that trust with your customers or with your followers just be patient like it's not going to be easy at first so what you're supposed to do in the beginning is just to try and get that customer base like try and get those following and try showing persons that you're credible and that you're trustworthy like for them to spend their money with you you have to go out there and put your name out there but for the time being just be patient and go and work for your craft 
go and think of ways of how to better your products customers but the main thing is be patient and don't be discouraged because you're not getting any customers in the first like six months you're not getting any customers that simple means that you need to get up and go out there and put your name out there and tell people what you're saying that's not working then pray to god and manifest and do some affirmations because those work as well i find out that whenever i pray i say affirmations and and do stuff like that and and talk good into my life and talk about getting sales and i'm going to get sales today and i'm going to do this and i'm going to do that those things actually work out you have to be wondering like oh god is really listening like somebody up top and listen to whatever i'm saying to myself and it happens so yeah be patient it's not going to be easy but you'll get there one day trust me on that <sighs> next step is learn about the products that you're selling for example i'm just going to give you all examples of me because you know no, nobody else i'm just the best example to be honest so learn about your products um if you don't know about the products or how you're going to sell the products if you don't know about mink lashes and hair and clothes and whatnot how are you going to sell it to somebody you have to have little you have to have knowledge about items that you're selling when i started i had no idea about hair quality what grade hair is what brazilian malaysia and all those type of areas are what it looks like until i did some research of course on google and other um business and instagram i just went through and scrolled through and see what everything was like did my own research and and of course then i can be able to tell customers what the ear what kind of ear i'm selling and how to care for the ear stuff like this so for persons who bought me lashes from me, they normally tend to ask what length are the lashes and are they reusable and stuff like those. And I always tell them, know what you're selling, know the products that you have so you can sell them better. Because nobody knows when I see you put up like a, for example, you only put up a lash on Instagram and the caption says, available now, cost thousand dollar fifteen hundred or whatnot like normally i just scroll past that why why do i scroll past a lash that looks nice yes but you only said available now and the price i need to know a little bit more about the lash i need to know if it is cruelty free if it is mink or whatnot and it, what length the lash is the lash is i need to know if it is reusable I need to know stuff like those so if you only just put up available now and the cost I am not going to look at it as a person who sell or as a person who is interested in buying. support other small businesses yes that's a major major thing you're supposed to do. like it's it's not really major but if you don't want to support other businesses then you don't have to but sometimes networking works best when you support each other so for example i know a girl that does nails right i go to her and i get my nails done and at the end of the day i come home and i tag her tag her profile or whatnot on my business instagram and let my customers know that i get my nails done at her so my customer them will go over she you know and you know get them nails done as well that's the same thing for if the nail tech come and buy a lash from me and the nail tech tag me in a post with my lashes then i'm going to get her customers and that's how it works you have to support people you have to repost their business so they can repost you so their followers can know about your page and what you are about i was going to say be yourself but as i said in my other videos if you are a close-up person and you are shy and you don't talk a lot then probably this business is not for you however you can always change those ways and be more outspoken and be more a 
coachable because at the end of the day like this is what you want to do right this is what you want to do and you've made up your mind and you've invested your money so you just have to teach yourself how to be mannerable how to be approachable and how to talk to people properly if they are a customer or if they inbox your both certain stuff um you have to teach yourself um how to be patient how to be understandable because trust me sometimes when i'm going through my dms and i see all these questions all these type of questions about stuff that i'm selling and the question the answer is literally in the caption of the item that they just sent me like everything i ensure that everything is on the caption i ensure that the price of the goods is on the actual image that i'm portraying he said to me say what's the cost of this when you say eight hundred dollars you have to look on the pics look on the picture take a deep breath and say eight hundred dollars like like sometimes i'm gonna try me you now but at the same time me just have to go with it you understand because what can i do i can of course you out and say miss you're blind you know see me put everything in the caption you know see the price of funny something hmm? we well, are come asking foolishness for miss and you alone have to deal with you know you can't answer them something so you have to be approachable you have to answer the stupid questions and stuff like that because at the same time them probably not see it or i don't know i don't know what can i excuse i i don't know say so, yes what was that um if you're shy like if you're shy yeah, change those ways and with time you get used to it with time you know how to approach people so you don't have to really worry about that no just go and practice in the mirror practice with other people your friends your family and in time you'll get used to meeting people and sometimes once you meet certain customers like certain customers don't care if you're up your tighty tighty and they're like hi good evening how are you blah 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 some customers want your well mm, you're good take care of this that thanks good thanks mama I see some other <laughs> that's all some customers are so it all depends on the type of customers where you have and once you conversate with the customer then you're going to have a feeling of oh the customer is if that makes sense and how you're going to approach them because i have customers who may talk to them like i'm a friend and at the same time i have customers who i talk to like like our npr somebody in a big business you know that Another thing is when when having your own when doing the whole internet and Instagram business, you want to ensure that whatever you're selling and whatever you're selling and the picture that you're going to use to display the item is of good quality. If you're taking the actual item, please ensure that you use a good camera phone, a good camera <coughs> and to take that picture. If you do not have a good camera to take a picture of the item please go on Google please go on Pinterest and look for an, look for the item on there because it gives you more pictures with better quality basically the reason why I say this is because I knew I know one two or three pages that I follow on Instagram business pages and i do like their items that they're selling but at the same time at the same for example at the same time them take the pictures of the actual item and um, of their with their phone and put it up and sometimes the background not tangled. good sometimes i can't really see the item properly and sometimes the quality of the picture sucks and it can be a huge turn off for persons who are interested in buying the item and if I go on your page and see items that you take with your phone and the quality is poor and the background look ugly then me no longer really want me not feel enticed to spend my money and buy it even though I know that I'm not buying the picture or whatnot but I know that 
once the item looks good and a nice picture and it looks appealing then i'm going to want to spend my money so i implore you to go on google research the item and take a screenshot or save the picture of the item to your phone and upload it to instagram only take a picture of the item if the phone has good quality and if you know say look good look at this this is my picture right this is a picture that i would actually buy but what if i use like a picture like this which one would you choose this or that i will go with this one this one over here so because this one looks more appealing like yeah this look ready and last tip is have an attitude of gratitude whenever i'm being never i'm being grateful are having countless of deliveries and countless of sales coming in and i find myself being grateful and say oh god thank you jesus and all them something there and if you look up on my knee and pray to god and say thanks i find out that i keep getting more and more and more sales and more blessings because what girl nice girl grateful like girl is totally grateful for the sales that's coming in and uh, just grateful over everything grateful to god and the fact that you go out there and show your customers how, how grateful you are for them to actually take you into consideration your business into consideration and trusting you with their money for it, for you to give them good quality products and you saying thanks and all them something you find yourself feeling better and you find yourself making your customers feeling better knowing how happy they make you yes yeah, so always remember to be grateful and say your thank yous and put out your affirmations and tell god thanks every day for everything and give you like that is all i have it this week like right? me not have nothing else to say I think I've covered everything that I've supposed to cover and and starting an internet business. Yeah, if you do have any more, if you do have any questions though, please leave them in the comment section below so we can look at them and try to answer them as best as possible and as honestly as possible. If you are an entrepreneur like myself and you've just started, I'm wishing you nothing but the best and a lot of sales and yeah just be you be consistent with posting promote your items and be patient everything will fall into place sooner or later stay motivated and continue being you and continue doing what you're doing and if you find any of these tips helpful go ahead and apply them to your online business and comment them comment down below <laughs> secret word for today is small business and go ahead and tag your business down below so i can follow you on my instagram and shout you out and also um this week's shout out goes to these three persons that is always commenting and watching my videos i really do appreciate you thank you for stopping by and thank you so much for watching this video guys i really do appreciate it and i'll see you in my next video kisses <laughs>